hello guys today in this tutorial i'll be showing you a new service which i deployed on my website freemediatools.com so basically it's a related words generator kind of a application where you put a topic here inside this tool here and it will tell you the related words which are related to that topic or word so i have given the link in the video description of this video if you try to if you want to try out this tool you can go to that uh, link so this is a tool here you go to freemediatools.com and you go to the bottom of the page you will find the service related word generator just click this and you will land on this page so it has a very simple interface you will plug the keyword here whatever keyword that you have to have so let's suppose i have the keyword here work and if i click find related words so basically it, it will find out all the keywords which are related to work here it is only found out one keyword here let me put a very broad keyword let's suppose i have love keyword so let me if you want to clear out this text area simply click this button so it will clear out the text area you click love here and now you will see all the related words which are related to that topic you will see here so it will give you the list here all that keywords and if you put here playing just clear it you can see prof so it is valid for every topic so if you have any topic in your mind you need to plug that simply plug that in inside this tool and you can just like this simply so in this way guys you can use this tool so for building this tool i have used a very simple api which is free to use and uh, you can make unlimited requests to this api the api name is data moves api so it is a word finding api which lets you find related words so i'm using this endpoint here you can see i'm using this endpoint I'm using this endpoint so if you plug any keyword here let's suppose cow here you will see all the related keywords which are there if you put, put here any dog here let's suppose now you will see all the keywords it will be returned in a json response it will be an array of objects we will be just be looping through and displaying it inside the text area so now to get started guys i have given the link in the video description of all the source code if you want to download all the source code alongside of the video you can go to the video description link so this is my blog post step by step instruction is given alongside with images so you will see also a link is given to my tool as well so if you want to try out the tool you can click this link and only a single index.html file is necessary i will guide you step by step inside the video so go to the video description link if you face any sort of problem so now what you need to do is that just create a index.html file inside your code editor you can use any code editor of your choice i'm using visual studio code text editor so here we will just make a simple title here which will be related words finder in javascript and for building this application we are using some bootstrap so you can just type bootstrap cdn and go to w3schools.com and go to get started and we only need the css part so simply copy this after the title paste it and after that we will be using the container class of bootstrap inside this we will display the heading in the center position that uh, related words generator after that we will be having a input field in which the user will be able to type we will provide a form control class of bootstrap so this will be input type text and we will be giving it a, a, a label also 
enter any topic or word so this should be required and the placeholder will be enter any word so basically if you open with live server so you will see this is the interface which is ready here now we simply need a button in order to trigger the action so we will have a button again form group and container class inside this we will have again btn btn danger btn block so these are all the bootstrap classes and here we will say find related words so you can refresh it you will see this red color button is there and then we also need a button to clear out the text area so once again we will say form group container and this time we will have btn btn block btn success so this will have a green color you will see so we need to provide a label which will be clear words i think like this so you will see now we need to have a text area just after this we will be displaying the text area inside which form group container text area form control so this is a text area you can provide an id to it so that we can target in in javascript provide an id of words that's it so our text area is ready here so here we will display the words and also inside the input field we can provide an id to it of word that's it now we can include some jquery as well to write some javascript so simply get started simply copy the cdn and paste it and now we will write the custom javascript so we will target the button so we need to attach you can see this is our button so we need to give it an id of button here so we can target in javascript here button we can when we click the button so this function will automatically trigger and here we will we can declare a function here which will find the words for us so here we can make this function find words and also we can declare a variable which would be let words which would be currently empty and we also need to check it when the input field changes so we have given an id to it of word so simply what we can do is that we can target it using jquery so whenever the value changes this event will automatically fire this change event and here we can just initialize the value which is simply this dot val that's it so this is the value submitted by by user that's it so we can also cross check as well alert after that we can alert it just print out inside it if it is working or not so basically what we can do if i type anything here so this event should be firing word change let me check the console here so it is saying cannot read of undefined so i think we have made a mistake here we have given id of word here oh sorry this needs to be closed here that is why it is this is the value so it should print out the value so after getting this value i will check why it is not there 
so we need to make a ajax request here make a ajax request so if you go to the blog post link the correct code is available i think we are make, making a, some typo mistake here inside it simply paste it this text area format the document so input id is input here so we need to change it input simply paste this value here like this and hopefully it should work now because if i enter anything here and now you can see it is successfully getting the value so it was just a typo mistake it can happen in programming so now we will make an ajax request it's very easy using jquery dollar dot ajax and inside this you will provide your method which will be simply post the url simply you need to plug the url here so i will just copy paste the url so this is the url that we want here simply copy it and paste it and we need to concatenate the word here so word is equal to word we have declared it and then we have the success callback so when the uh, request is successful we will get the data here we can console log it and then also we have a error callback so if any sort of error take place this function will trigger holding the error for us so we can simply say console log error and we can simply say in the alert box some error has taken place that's it so this is a simple ajax request we are performing here and uh, now let me just test this application if i enter any sort of word here let's suppose dog click find related words so it is saying some error has taken place method not allowed Oh, sorry this needs to be a get request not a post request so that is why that method was not allowed so once again if I refresh it doc click and if I check the console you will see 40 results are returned to us you will see if I just see here this is a JSON response it's an array of objects so we need to loop through them and display it inside our text area so it's very simple we have given this ID of words here. So simply what we can do is that in the success callback, we can say dollar, sorry, we can loop it. We can use a for each loop here. For each loop, we can use it. And the array in this case will be data. Or simply we can call it as words, like this words. For each word, we need to insert it inside our. So we can say dollar dot words append word dot and there is a property inside it. You can see if you have seen in the JSON response here, we got here. So each property has two properties word and score. So we need to print this property which is word here. So we can simply say dot word and then again we can. We need to print it each word in a separate line so we can say append in a new line character so we can say new line character and that's it so basically if you see here now the application is somewhat complete so if i print out dog so you will see all the related words will be printed out you will see if i change the topic to so this we need to plug this so if i click this button here i need to clear out this so we have given this let me give an id of clear so if i press this button here we can just target this by its id clear when we click this button so 
we can say here words and we can clear it by using val and then we can say location dot reload so we need to reload the page for doing that there is a built-in method in javascript that's it so now the application is complete so you can say cat so you will see it will print out these words clear out these words like this you say dog you will say so this is an application that we have built from scratch related words generator so if you want to see the demo you can go to my website the link will be there inside video description if you want the full source code the link would be there inside video description please like the video subscribe the channel and comment on this video and thanks very much for watching this video